No one yeah. likes to drink alone, right? This is Andre Amitiba. We're taking Jaeger shots on the streets of Berlin. Oh, you like it? Yeah, buddy, right? Yes. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you, uh, oh, they have yeah. in this shit. Oh, it's burning, he says. That's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's good. It's a good stuff. I shoot skating whenever I'm not shooting commercially. I always shoot skating on the weekends. As long as I'm a fan of skating, I'm gonna keep shooting skating. And that's the same with the commercial stuff. Hey, it's Atiba. And I'm at home working on a bunch of stuff, so you're all good, all right? So down here, this is my workspace. This is where all kind of the things that go into being a photographer. I do take a lot of different photos from basketball to skateboarding and music too. I really love to shoot what I'm a fan of, so those are all things that I am. Along with a ton of party photos of my friends. I have a close relationship with Jägermeister. I mean, it's my first choice besides having a beer. It's just what me and my friends enjoy. Like the first place that I drank Jäger was Max Fish, and Mark is the one to introduce me to what Jägermeister was. I mean, it was kind of funny, we all skated. I mean, skating is kind of the thing that united us besides Jäger. I didn't even know Max Fish was really a skate-friendly bar. Like, it, it really is the skate bar of the world. You're a Jäger guy, you're not. Yeah, exactly. Well, a couple Jäger guys. <laughs> Mark has two brothers that live here in New York City also, Andre and Tino. So we kind of all made this common bond with Jäger, and it was all because of Max Fish. I'll credit, I'll credit it mostly to Tino, because like, Literally, we'd all like kind of had a, our Jaeger time already, like as like kind of younger drinkers, and then Tino kind of brought it back. Yeah, people would come to the bar and just be like, "Can I get a Tino?" And it's like, "Oh, Jaeger and a bud, sure." Like people still do that. It's funny. I'm not like the most black licorice dude, but something about Jaeger just tastes good. I have a sweet tooth. There's clearly sugar in it, but I can't really stomach shots of tequila. I can't stomach shots of whiskey. <laughs> This dude Skeletor came into Fred Smith's <laughs> Fred Smith shot one That's day. That's a good way to start a sentence. <laughs> dude Skeletor. I'm 38, I'm not young, but a majority of the friends that are my age really love Jaeger. This is shot from a show I just had last month in Berlin that was sponsored by Jaeger, which was amazing because it's like what I love. So to be able to offer that at a photo show is a dream come true and in Germany. Like, that's the thing, I was like, with Jaeger, I gotta thank it for some of the best times in my life. So for a guy who's drinking a lot of Jaeger in Los Angeles and New York City, I'm excited to be here in Wolfenbottle to see where Jaegermeister is made. I've been all over Germany a number of times, and it's always skateboarding trips, you know. I've been to all the major cities. What I've learned from Wolfenbottle is it's quiet and it's peaceful and intimate. It's nothing like any other city I've been to in Germany. Oh man, I would love if my brother was here, Akko, and the Razos. It's a pretty awesome building. It's pretty big, actually. Like a lot bigger than I thought. This is an amazing experience to see where it's made, how it's made, and who makes it. I'm excited to meet Mr. Fritz and see the man behind Jaeger. Can you stand right here? <laughs> Look right here. Cool, thank you. This is the Ahn Gallery, die wir hier in der Firma auch zeigen. Das ist das Stammhaus in Wolfenbüttel, wo die Firma 1878 gegründet wurde. Dann die jeweiligen Besitzer der Firmengründer, Wilhelm Mast, der Sohn Kurt Mast die die Firma dann weitergeleitet haben. Amazing. Mona Lisa. I need that for my house. Where I've had Jaeger, 
here, 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 here. Okay. Favorite here. It's all. Mhm. Ja, hier befinden wir uns jetzt in dem Besucherkräuterlager. Es sind 25 Stück von den 56 äh, botanischen Rohstoffen, die im Jägermeister enthalten sind. Well, you know, it's crazy. You never realize like Jäger is made up of everything that's all over the world. It's amazing, beautiful. Die einzelnen Rohstoffe werden nach der Rezeptur äh, abgewogen. Man hat hier verschiedene Wagen diese einzelnen Rohstoffe ab und äh, verbringt sie dann hier zu der Mühle. Und in der Mühle werden die äh, einzelnen Kräuter dann gemahlen und äh, in einen Mischer. I'm making Jäger. Yeah. <lacht> Somewhere in the world, this hand made a bottle of Jäger. I want a job here. Yeah. Ja, hier sind wir in dem Mazerationsbereich. Das ist eigentlich so das Herzstück der ähm, Grundstoffherstellung, der, Konzentration, der Konzentratherstellung. Die äh, gesammelten äh, Abläufe werden weiterverarbeitet zu dem Konzentrat, was wir in diese Fässer hineinbringen, wo es dann ein Jahr lagert. Wow! This is it! Like, is this enough for the United States? Damit könnten wir auch Amerika und China noch versorgen. Thank you. You guys should get like macros of like the bubbling and like all that. The texture. Das sind alles Eichenfässer. Dieser Prozess, der hier der Reifung bedarf nicht einer bestimmten Menge aus dem Holz heraus, die wir da benötigen, um eine qualitätsmäßige Verbesserung des Produktes zu bekommen, sondern es ist ein Prozess, der abläuft über Sauerstoffzufuhr und deswegen spielt es auch keine Rolle, wie alt die Fässer sind. Die, der Sauerstoff dringt durch die Porung des Holzes zu dem Alkohol vor und in dieser Folge ergibt sich dann ein Prozess, der die Qualität verbessert. Die Fässer sind teilweise bis 100 Jahre alt werden immer wieder repariert und deswegen bleiben sie auch lange haltbar. Wir haben hier die Dosieranlage, die aus diesen einzelnen Komponenten, die aus Vorratstanks, die hier im Hintergrund stehen, über diese Leitungen mit Pumpen versorgt wird und aus diesen einzelnen Komponenten in dem, in dem Zusammenpumpen den Jägermeister entstehen lässt. Where do they add the deer blood? Ähm, ja, die Frage kommt auch immer wieder, dass man gefragt wird, ob es tatsächlich so ist, dass im Jägermeister Hirschblut ist. Aber das ist natürlich eine Legende, ähm, die sich äh, sehr schön in den Generationen fort, äh, fort von Mund zu Mund verbreitet. Aber das ist natürlich nicht so. Wir haben kein Hirschblut im Jägermeister enthalten. Deer blood. Das sind Tropfverluste, die bei der Filtration ganz normal sind. Das ist das Fertigprodukt aus der Kühlung. Und das wollen wir jetzt mal probieren, ob der Jägermeister auch so gut schmeckt, wie wir ihn haben wollen. Okay. Cheers. Prost. Prost. I want to thank you for letting me make Jaeger, showing me around and taking a shot with me. We're literally in the middle of a forest. I mean, there's just trees, snow, and a lodge. Hunters come here and old people. And when I'm saying old, I mean real old people come here. This is definitely the old folks hang out straight up. So we are hanging out outside of what was the founder of Jaeger's old hunting lodge. We're gonna go in and, and meet the owner who is a man of many talents, being the sausage king, making the best sausages in this area, a raccoon owner, and also a great laser display show hunter. That's a fox. Fully automatic. Yeah. 
Usually I don't miss them. Ja, gehen Sie bitte zur Kasse. Ja. Zeig mal. Ja, das ist gut. Das ist Mama. Du killt Mama. Oh, I did? Du killt Bambis Mama. <laughs> das ist fine. Now I want to show you something special again. This is the original Jägermeister Stube. It's the only Jägermeister Stube in the world because it's built by Jägermeister. Stube, it means uh, room, living room. Cool. And everything wow. here breathes Jägermeister. This is a legend of the Holy Hubertus. Uh, Hubertus in Germany is the name for a great hunter and saw the stag with the golden cross. Wow. So he prayed to the stag and said, okay, that's, that's it, no hunting anymore. No hunting anymore. And from that day on, he was a monk and uh, only worked for poor people. Beautiful. That's great. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. This is the place to where the animals come. And this is our room to watch them. Now, do hunters still come to the lodge? Hunters come to the lodge, watch them, uh, talk to another. Oh, well, look, this This is my maybe two years, maybe three years. Oh, you are stupid. It's one year, you can see. And so, so you have this uh, kind of talking, but uh, it's no chance to, to shoot here. Right. Oh, well, I, I show you my best friend. This is Jette. Jette is, an, Jette is a hunting dog. Yes, you, you won't believe it, but it's... Really? Yes. Border Terrier. And uh, it's a good soul of the house here. Nice. The, the house dog. Sounds like Jaeger shots are... Yeah, kind weird. of like not very uh, <laughs> threatening or um, scary in a way, just kind of very oh, it's beautiful peaceful. sound. So here we are, we're in Hildesheim, with Niels at Manhattan's and we're about to go in for a drink. So this bottle Sorry. here. Oh, look at these. We did the first design of the bottle and made it kind of like limited edition with a wax seal on top. And it was just like for a selected circle of bartenders. And the small bitters here, we made a limited edition of these modifiers or bitters. I want to try that. Yeah. So when we started to say like now we actually need the ambassadors in a way, like a bartender is always ambassador. He's never Absolutely. selling what he's supposed to sell. He's always selling what he actually likes. So what we said was we can make drinks, any classic drinks, like you know, an old-fashioned Manhattan or Negroni with Jägermeister. So like old-fashioned. So you got an old-fashioned. Usually, an old-fashioned is always like you know, it's this very ceremonial thing. Like absolutely, you know, I've had to make them. We're just taking like a shortcut in a way. This is just parts of bourbon and parts of Jäger. So yeah. there you go. Cheers. Good. It's a serious drink. V very. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> we're flooring it after this. This is definitely stiff. And how long have you been at this bar? Um, this bar is 16 years. And how often are you here? I mean, I think it's kind of a special story that, I mean, this isn't just any bar. This bar is only open when you're here, correct? Yeah. And what you're getting is more or less like, you know, um, a very wintry drink. We just yeah, added Yeah, what did some, you add in that? We just added some um, chocolate liqueur. And what would you drink? call this if I wanted to order it? Oh, it's black and black. Nice. So, I love black. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Amazing. That is the f best shot of Jaeger I've ever... Like, what did you... With chocolate syrup or...? No, it's just some chocolate liquor. Dude, That's black it. and black, dude. I'm Max Fish, dude. Coming soon. As soon as we end involved Jäger, it usually ends up like in a kind of... In a friendship. Yeah. Uh, it's not planned and it's not like, you know, kind of, it just comes up. Oh, I saw you rock up on the bike. I was like, like the dude already. 
<laughs> oh, we're sorry. gonna have a good time. Uh, but and then and, and then it gets funny because we're with all these people. But let's be honest, we're the two dudes with two cameras pointed at us, and we're having a great time. Uh, it's not about drinking more; it's about drinking better. Cheers, my friend. Thank Cheers. you. It's a pleasure having you. Oh, I ain't leaving. I'm a very social person, and I think that's the biggest thing with me and Jägermeister, is it's a social drink, and that's the beauty of it. We're here in Berlin. We made the three-hour trek. We're at Heavyweight Gallery, where ironically I'm having a show at the same time. The show's been up. It opened January 16th. I think they're keeping it up until March, which is the longest thing show I've ever had. Yeah, I'll probably go back to the hotel, probably eat, and then we'll just party. Okay. Thank you. See Thanks you for the tea. We'll yeah. see you in a bit. Bye, guys. So my favorite part of Berlin is like, it's one of the places in the world where you can still drink on the street and it's legal. It's in every convenience store, every bar. It's definitely a very popular drink in Germany. Like the mini bottle thing over there is actually really big. I was not flashing them at you guys. I'll know English? Yeah, so just picking up some mini bottles for the boys. The way Jaeger's embraced in Germany is pretty awesome. Berlin is a great party town. It's like the funnest party town there is. It will go all night long. I mean, for me, Jaeger means so much because it means me and my friends in a good time and it tastes great. See, the taste great thing sounds weird, but I honestly like the taste. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Thank you, guys. <laughs>